All right, I'm gonna troubleshoot another unit here. I'll turn on my service switch, make sure I'm calling for heat. All right, and do some more that comes on. This pressure switch is supposed to close. After the pressure switch closed, it says to send a signal back to my ILC for my igniter to come on. It takes a little time. All right, I can look down into the furnace and see that my igniter is coming on. Wait for it to get to its potential as far as heat. All right, I have a flame. Oh, and the flame went out. So what I'm thinking is, since it only lasted about five seconds, is that my flame sensor is the problem. So what I'm gonna have to do is set up so that I can check my flame sensor. So I'm gonna turn the furnace off, disconnect my flame sensor here, put one lead here, and I'm gonna put the other lead here so that I can be in series. And then I have to put my meter on DC microamps. I'm gonna turn the furnace back on so we can start the sequence back over. So we have the induced motors back on. Uh, pressure switch should be closing. Sending down a signal to the IFC to turn on the igniter. Igniter is coming on. Have a flame. I still have nothing in my flame sensor. That lets me know that my flame sensor is bad. So bad flame sensor. 